Hey guys, welcome to another Unity Asset Review and in this video I'm checking out the Medieval Village Pack from K4 or Manufacturer K4, however he likes to call himself and we're going to check out to see what it's like. I picked it up while it was on a sale a little while back and I was meaning to review it then, I'm only checking it out now. The video and the screenshots look beautiful. Word of warning, this was originally submitted back in 2013 but it was updated in 2016 so it should be good it should work at least with unity 5 because it was submitted with 5.3.4 and we're currently on after 5 we're on 2017 it's called which it should work i'm hoping it will be fine fingers crossed it does look beautiful in this video so we're going to check it out inside unity we're going to import the package and hopefully hopefully we're going to have a fun review i'm really looking forward to this because he has a reputation of doing some fantastic, fantastic AAA uh, models and scenes, but he has also got a reputation recently of being radio silent and not replying to his customers, looking at some of the reviews on his other assets. I chose this one specifically because it was recently updated back in September 2016, so no excuses. It should work fine and we should have a lovely scene to play with. Here we are inside Unity. And yeah, no, I gotta stop saying Unity 3D. I mean, do you get comments people saying you keep saying Unity 3D? That's because I'm old. Okay, I'm old. Now um, I'm inside Unity, and you can see console a lot of errors. 19 errors, 42 warnings. It's never really a great sign when you stick an asset in and it kicks up so many. But um, well, I'm thinking maybe because I'm using the recent you know 2017 version of unity and this was submitted back in 5.3 but then you see the errors and you see that he's actually included the standard assets as part of his kit um that's kind of like a big no-no isn't it why would you need to do that so you've got here the standard assets characters first person controller what else does he put in there the effects and the environment all right so let's delete this and then we're going to re-import the proper uh, Unity characters, effects, and environments. Let's delete you. Yep, can't undo this action. All right, so let's have a look to see what we get in our pack that we've just purchased. And well, I say just purchased. I bought it a little while back when we had the sale. I just didn't get around to reviewing it. Um, okay, so nature folder. Lots of grass, textures, and materials. Nice. It's actually got a lot of stuff we got there. Um, ground, nice average ground texture, and some other leavesy. Oh, it's all right. It's nice. Not too bad. Um, let's find the models. Origin, prefabs. Here we go. So three different sets for different LODs. And here we go. Here's the prefabbed LOD. This is one that I like. Already taken care for you. So we've got. The three versions and how many things we got in this folder so we got 50 things in this prefabbed LOD folder so I'm going to say we've got about 50 objects All right let's click play okay here we are in the daytime scene and immediately I would say that you get a lot of rocks and well it looks like you get more rocks than you really do I think it's usually the same ones over and over and he works quite well the way he's done it this wooden platform that I'm standing on um, the textures aren't great and I think I think these textures yeah um, they're not what I expected okay so this is a 2013 asset originally he updated it in 2016 I don't know what he updated but obviously he may not have come back and cleaned up the quality of the models and the textures because looking at this bridge the model is not great and nor are the textures this tree stump I like how he's got the mushrooms on the side of it but um, the tree stump itself again not great nor the texture nor the model this tree stump um, I like again I like the lip he's got here mushrooms on there I like that it's nice I like this little effect he's put on this bit of detail but um, oddly this tree looks better than this stump the proper trees that he's got, the terrain trees, um, they don't know, they don't look great, and they don't look like they've got LODs on them. So that's not good. That's not good for 
that's not good for optimization. Um, rocks? Well, you get a lot of rocks. Look, you get a lot of small rocks and big rocks. Um, odd textures, not sure you can see, but textures are a bit blurry. They're not fantastic. And the mushrooms on the floor, very low poly mushrooms. So the grass, sometimes the log grass looks a bit better than others, to be honest. I'm playing about here on the scene and um, I've seen better grass assets out there. So would I get this and use this just for the grass? No, probably probably I wouldn't. Um, but let's go and have a look at some of the buildings because so far, so far I'm a bit disappointed. I feel a little bit let down. What was I expecting though? But this is a 2013 asset from one of the guys in the asset store with a reputation for doing amazing work. There is a problem though, to be honest. Recently I looked at some of his other kits and there was a lot of negative feedback saying that he's no longer replying to customers. This one looked a little bit different because it was updated in September last year. So it looks like he's still working on it. Um, which is why I'm reviewing it because it would be unfair if I'm reviewing something that he hasn't been working on at all in four years. But this is a year old and the buildings are wrong. Look at the size of this building, the scaling of it is wrong the door and everything let's check out let's click pause let's have a look okay first person controller where am i here's the building and here is our bay and what the hell 0.83 why has he scaled it down to 0.83 if it's small it's too small now maybe one was the right size why why okay that's annoying let's get rid of that door let's go in see if we can get inside the building okay so now we got rid of the door we we still can't get into the building. Okay, again. Um, this doesn't make me happy. This I was already a little bit unhappy and it's making me less happy. Let's Okay, let's make your box collider get down a little bit. Okay, now we can get in. So maybe it was just his box collider was too high. I don't know. Because I'm still on the ground. Oh no, I haven't fallen through. Um, and here is a roof with no... Oh, is that a collider on there? So... Ah, uh, you can see why, because he didn't want to finish off the top part to save on some bollies. There you go. Okay. So, at least you can get into the building. That's good. I was nearly very upset that you couldn't even get into the building. And let's have a look over here. Let's find the village. So, and here's a village. Oh, nice. We've got little uh, bees or pollen floating about. That's a nice effect. I like that touch. Uh, the beehives, again, the quality of the model and the textures are not fantastic. Um, blame the, I don't know, you can, you can blame shaders only up to so much, but at the end of the day, um, this is not AAA quality. And maybe it was back, you know, 2013, it was to the standard, but we're marking it now on 2017 and comparing it to other equivalent assets. And at the moment, that's not great. I mean, let's have a look at this fence. Uh, see that this just fence isn't great. The textures on it. I'm not impressed. Again, another building with doors and size of this one's still small, but not as bad as the other one. No scripts on the doors. I think this is going to be a running theme throughout this kit. So let's just hide all of the doors so we don't have to worry about it now because it'd be a bit annoying if I keep on coming back and pausing just to hide doors. Okay, so here's all of the doors we can find, and there you go, off, turn off doors. There we go, so let's go inside this building, and oh, there's a bit of a flicker. Okay, that's odd, that's like, I don't know, is that an LED problem, or is this, you've got another model intersected inside this one, and that's why, it's, so you see that before where you've got basically the model, ah, that's, that's what the problem is. It's the wood that's underneath is interfering with the wood slab that's above. Okay, bad, bad job on there. Not good. And the windows are not real um, windows. So it would have been nice if there were glass and there's that annoying issue again with the walls. Okay, that's going to piss me off. So here is the lamp outside. Um, it, does, it does look like just a box on a frame. Hopefully at night time it might emit light and you would have the light from coming out from within the lamp, but um, it just looks like it's a box. So that's a shame again. 
Let's see if we can get off on the roof. Oh, oh, fell down, broke my leg. Let's try it again. Come on, let's get on the roof. Yay, we're on the roof. No colliders on these beams. Maybe he just doesn't think that we should get on this. Nice chimney, though. Give you marks for the chimney. Chimney's good. See, it's, it's weird. It's a paradox. Sometimes it's got some nice textures and, and models, and other times it just feels a bit odd. I like the effect that it's got on the uh, the roofs here with the wood and the hay. Hay is always a hard thing to be able to get done right. Can we get inside this building? Oh, no. Hang on. Can I? No. Okay, some weird collider issue again. I can't get inside there. Water trough. So you get 50 models, 50 prefabs in this kit and with various LODs. So that's a lot of stuff. So 30 quid we get 50 prefabs. Like that in itself, you know, you could use them, then great. Um, these are models of these tree stumps. It's not the Unity trees. So you can reuse those. Um, but the trees themselves, again, I wouldn't use them. The rocks, the textures on the rocks are not, I don't know, they're not good enough for me to be able to use. And it's a shame because I do need rocks. Um, Maybe I'm being a bit unfair. I don't know. You tell me. Am I being a bit unfair? Bridge? You get a bridge. So that's nice. Again, uh, running theme with the textures. I'm not happy with them. So uh, not too sure what to say there. I don't think anything's going to get pulled out of the hat to really turn me around on this one. My expectations were high. Well, unfairly high. Well, they were high based on the screenshots that you provided. So um, oh, I'm, off, I'm off the path. I like this. I like the effect he's got of the path, the way he's put it, the wood down in the terrain and you're walking over it with the little pebbles and stuff that's nice as a demo scene goes i would score him on the demo scene it's a nice demo scene this guy can design some levels um but his assets that he's showing off not so good not to the standard that i was expecting and it's weird it's like they're not low enough to be considered uh, low def for like mobile or optimized scenes and they're not high enough to compete or use with other high poly or high quality assets. It's somewhere in between. So if you've got things of equal quality, then yeah, it would fit. But otherwise, it would just seem a bit out of place, like this well. Um, again, not. I mean, it's like it's it's like his wood. He's failing on wood textures, but most of his stuff is wood. So it's odd. It's odd. I don't know another word to say. It is odd. Um, buildings, you get a lot of buildings and this little wooden gazebo thing here I can't get into. So you get a lot of stuff and again all the models seem to be the wrong scaling. Um, I've just smashed my head through the wall. And what's this here? The window and the wall don't even line up and you can see a gap between them. I don't think that's intentional. I don't think when they built this house the people were like, well, you know what we need? We need some air conditioning, so let's just leave a hole here. No, nope, it just looks like it's a bad model. And no colliders. Yep, no colliders here, so I can just smash my head through. Okay, disappointed. Um, and I did get this while it was on a sale not so long ago. I was meaning to review it then. I've just only got around to it now. And at a sale, I'm less frustrated because I didn't pay full price. Would I have paid full price and been happy? No, to be honest. Not. I'm not. Not happy. This is not this is not my happy face. You can't see it, but it's not a happy face. Not my happy voice, you can tell. So let's pop into the nighttime scene to see if it's any better. Right, I'm loading up the nighttime demo scene. Let's check it out and see what it's like. Is it any better than the daytime? Do things look better at night? Well, I like to think they do. So here we are. And again, we've got everything as we had before. Um Let's pop over to the village because we can see some lights on in the distance. That's where the exciting things are going to happen. Little fog effects that he's got here. Some nice particle effects that he's put in the pack. And really, um, what do we get? We get a light. So that, what we saw during the daytime, and now has a light on it. And um, really, um, Okay, that's that's not great, is it? Because that's just a wooden box with a light attached to it, rather than making use of this and having that like, glass effect or whatever on there. So first off, that that's 
that's not good. That's that's disappointing. And down here we've got our fireflies that we're going past, and we've got a five on. This is that's probably the best thing he's got in this pack. That's a bit unfair. Um, okay, so our nighttime scene. These are the differences we've got, and um, this is bad, and this one is much better. Well, wow. isn't that great? Okay, so now I need to give it a score. I need to give it a score out of five, and um, I need to be fair. And I know that my expectations may have been a little bit higher, and it's not his fault. Well, you could say it's his fault because of the quality of the pictures they took. Um, but I need to be fair and say that this is going to be one one gnome out of five. Right, it's nowhere near the 2.5. It's it's not a zero because that's completely unfair, and it's not a half. It's oh, I think one is good because you get 50 um, prefabs with LODs at $30 or 30 quid, whatever this is. You get um, trees, lots of trees, but uh, for me the trees aren't very usable and they're not optimized. The grass, you get a lot of different grass and textures, but again, um, they don't look great to me and, they, and I wouldn't really use them. So could I use this? Maybe I could use some of the buildings. I would you'd have to rescale them, resize them, which is odd because he's actually in this demo scene. He's brought them down from one to 0.8. Um, so he's made them smaller. I don't understand why he's made them smaller in these prefabs. Why have you made your prefab smaller than than you originally intended? So um, yeah, odd, very odd indeed. So a bit of tweaking you could use this. If you think I'm being a little bit harsh let me know in the comments down below but again I just I need to be honest I need to be true to myself and I can't feel that in this today's standard of 2017 while we're reviewing it that this is worth anything more than one and don't get me wrong there's a lot of assets on the store that are worse than this there's a lot of assets on the store I wouldn't even um, give anything higher than a zero and if I could give negatives maybe I'll start giving negatives you never know, maybe. But um, I think one is fair on this one. If you do like these videos and you want to see more of them, do help me out and spread the word because I'm pretty bad on social media and I don't really know how you're supposed to get your YouTube videos out there. So uh, click on that big red subscribe button, leave a comment and show your mates. And if you do like it, click it. Till next time. And if you like this video and you want to see more, click on that nice big red subscribe button that's down below. And on the left side of your screen, hopefully there's some videos playing, so why don't you just give them a click and see what it's all about. Remember, if you like it, click it.